Getting hit with a golf club after a night out? Stealing your teammate's girlfriend? Wow, that's pretty crazy. But what about this one? Headbutting an opponent in your biggest match ever. Those footballers have definitely had nightmares. Yes, you may have guessed all three cases we're talking about, but are you sure you know the stories behind them? Well, that's why we're here. Because today, we'll discuss the eight most brutal rivalries between football players. And at the end of the video, we have a little more uncommon rivalry, so stay tuned. First up, we have one of the best Uruguayan strikers of all time, who had a fight with Neymar not so long ago. No, it's not Suarez, but rather Edison Cavani, who shared PSG's dressing room with Ney between 2017 and 2020. And still, if we had asked him at the end of his period in PSG if he was glad the two of them played together, Cavani's answer would probably have been negative. Yes, it is actually hard not to feel sorry for Cavani. A player of his talent arrived from Napoli as an absolute star, but then Zlatan Ibrahimovic Kimovic arrived in Paris, and Cavani was forced to play on the wing. After Zlatan left, Cavani became the team's top scorer, netting an incredible amount of 49 goals during the 2016-17 season. But his stellar form was a thing of the past after Neymar's transfer in the summer of 2017 from Barcelona. Unfortunately for Cavani, the Brazilian took his leadership role, including taking the penalties for the team. Also, there was an incident once between the two, when both of them wanted to take a penalty in the French League One. In the end, Neymar gave the penalty to his teammate, but the Uruguayan missed. Besides that, the two have had a lot of arguments on the pitch, and it was pretty evident that with the arrival of Mbappe, the French and Brazilian superstars definitely seemed to be complementing each other, and there was certainly a feeling that Cavani was unnecessary in that front three. Yes, the banter between Cavani and Neymar brought turmoil to the PSG dressing room, but what about the next fight, which featured another Uruguayan, Luis El Pistolero Suarez? Or, let's be more precise, Suarez has had several memorable incidents. Bites, mad celebrations after a goal against former team Liverpool, intentional handball and extra time of a World Cup quarterfinal, racial abuse. Well, let's focus on the last one. 2011, the English Derby, Liverpool versus Manchester United. Luis Suarez and Patrice Evra were playing for both teams, but failed to withstand the provocations. The Frenchman accused Suarez after the match of racially abusing him, and the FA charged the Liverpool striker for eight games. Then, in the next encounter between the two teams, this time at Old Trafford, Suarez refused to shake Evra's hand before the start of the game. Well, quite frankly, the defender had his sweet revenge, jumping provocatively around Suarez following the Red Devils 2-1 win. Premier League at its peak. Now picture this, you've probably seen in the movies how friends swear eternal fidelity and promise never to do dirty and mean tricks to each other. Well, Mauro Icardi and Maxi Lopez have definitely missed this part in their friendship. Actually, they even became teammates at Sampdoria in 2011, and Maxi invited his buddy to a dinner, so Icardi could settle in the new place after coming to the team. Legends say that Icardi and Lopez's wife, Wanda Nara, fell in love at first sight, and after a few months, the model decided to divorce Lopez and begin a relationship with Icardi. Not only that, Wanda took the three kids she had with Lopez and moved to Icardi's with them. You gotta feel sorry for Maxi Lopez. Icardi joined Inter soon after, with Lopez refusing to shake his former friend's hand when Torino, who the ex-Barcelona man joined in 2015, faced the Nerazzurri. But what about this rivalry, one of the most memorable in football history? What can we say about the 2006 World Cup final between France and Italy? You probably remember that magical Panenka-style penalty by Zidane, or Buffon's one-handed save. Yes, the good old times. But what about this one? The two teams were fighting to the death for the trophy, but Italian defender Marco Materazzi decided to use some dirty tricks on France's leader Zinedine Zidane. The Italian tried everything possible to distract his opponent, and it looked like it worked. He told Zidane that he wanted to do different things with his sister. You all know what he meant. And the Frenchman lost control of his emotions and headbutted Materazzi in the chest. He was immediately sent off by the referee. But four years later, we got episode two of this fierce saga. In 2010, Zidane said that he would rather die than apologize to Materazzi for his actions. Well, if I had to give my opinion, Marco probably doesn't need his apology. After all, he was raising the World Cup that night while Zidane was probably in the shower. 
Next up, we've got the true definition of friendly fire. Liverpool and Barcelona were up against each other in the 2007 Champions League round of 16. The first match was in Spain, and the entire Liverpool squad was in Portugal before the clash. The boss, Rafa Benitez, told his players that they could have one beer in the hotel's bar. Well, the players got a little too comfortable with the boss's permission, getting mad wasted. Some of them, including Craig Bellamy, even started singing karaoke. At one point, the Welshman even got Yonna Arnarisa to get on stage with him. But after he refused, Bellamy started to attack him, and their teammates intervened to separate the pair. However, nothing ends here. Bellamy knew he had unfinished business with Risa, and when all the boys went to sleep, he entered his room and struck him with a golf club. How romantic. After this entire story, you might be thinking, those guys were thrashed by Barcelona at Camp Nou. However, Liverpool was not only not beaten that night, but Risa and Bellamy were the two best players on the pitch, with the Welshman scoring a goal and even providing an assist for Risa for Liverpool's second goal in the 2-1 win. The climax of the evening was that celebration by Bellamy, imitating a golf stroke, referring to their incident a couple of days prior. With our next rivalry, we're sure to change your minds about the Scandinavians' violent temper, as we have another Norwegian, and it's none other than Erling Holland's dad, Alfie. The match is from 1997, when Alf Inga Holland was playing for Leeds against Roy Keane's Manchester United. In the 85th minute, Keane played some dirty tricks against Holland in the penalty box, trying to win a penalty. But instead, he tore his ACL and was out for a very long time. Holland, on the other hand, was unaware of the seriousness of the injury and was standing over him and criticizing him for his tricks. Then, around four years later in 2001, when Alfie was already wearing Manchester City's shirt, the two faced again in the local derby between City and United. In the very early stages of the game, Keane tackled Holland, kicking him high on his right knee, for which he was immediately sent off. Keane was fined 5,000 pounds and received a three-match ban. You thought that was it? Well, not quite. In his autobiography a couple of months later, Keane stated that his tackle was premeditated, deliberate act of vengeance against Holland. For those words, he caught the attention of the FA, which fined him 150,000 pounds and gave him a five-game ban. Up next, we have an even more outrageous stealing of a buddy's woman than Icardi and Lopez's case, because here we talk about national teammates. Kevin De Bruyne and Thibaut Courtois were big friends and mates for the Belgium national team, as both even passed together through almost all the youth formations for their country. But one day, the media broke the news that De Bruyne's girlfriend, Carolyn Lennon, was cheating on him with the national team goalkeeper Courtois, who was playing for Atletico Madrid at the time. Things got even nastier for De Bruyne when she publicly admitted that Thibaut has given her more in one night than Kevin in the last three years of their relationship. Yikes. Since that moment in 2014, despite the huge scandal, Courtois and De Bruyne had great success together with the Belgian national team, bagging the bronze medals at the 2018 World Cup. Of course, the two also had some memorable clashes with each other in the Champions League, with more of the same looming in the quarterfinals of this year's tournament, as both Real Madrid and Manchester City have been drawn together. And as we promised, we've prepared a true rivalry, which seems to be handed down from generation to generation. Yes, the German top goalkeeper. As we know, when it comes to goalies, the German goalkeeping academy is absolutely unbeatable. It all started at the beginning of this century, when Germany had two excellent keepers, Oliver Kahn and Jens Lehmann, both fighting for the number one spot. The two were constantly sniping at each other. For example, when Lehmann lost his starter place to Manuel Almunia during his time at Arsenal, Kahn made fun of him. Well, Lehmann replied that the Bayern Munich keeper had taken himself too seriously, and added that he doesn't have a 24-year-old girlfriend, referring to Kahn's reportedly dating a Munich barmaid. Fast forward 15 years later, when Manuel Neuer and Marc-Andre Ter Stegen are in, let's say, a very similar situation. Bayern Munich's shot stopper has been Germany's number one most of the time, as Barca's keeper had a scrappy chance to prove himself only in 2023 when Neuer was recovering from an injury after skiing. The relationship between the two is far more restrained, but despite constantly expressing their respect for each other, Ter Stegen's sense of revenge is certainly high, as he is hoping to be between the sticks at this summer's European Championships. 
And that's all for today, guys. If you enjoyed it, we warmly remind you to subscribe to our channel and give it a thumbs up for more related content. If you have any video ideas, you can share with us down in the comments section. Also, can you think of other fierce rivalries between players? If you do think of some, you can write us again down below. Bye for now, and we'll catch you in the next one.